Hello, here are the main stories in London. Hundreds of families in need across North London will be fed as a charity is saving around 120,000 kilograms of food from landfill. Food deliveries from the Felix Project have arrived at Henry Fawcett Primary School in Oval, where parents and volunteers are helping to distribute food to those who need it. I mean, you have the ones that you know about, but literally now with the whole cost of living situation, it's everyone. You have doctors, you have nurses, you have teachers as well. So anything that gets left over from the Felix Project that parents don't take, we also can help ourselves too. So that has been such a help at the moment. Surrey's NHS Trust has declared a critical incident after seeing record numbers of patients going to A&E, calling 111 and using GP services. The Trust say discharging patients who are well enough to create capacity for those coming in is an ongoing challenge and that staff sickness is also adding to the problem. A 25-year-old man has been arrested after a woman was shot in North London in the early hours of Tuesday morning. Police and ambulance services were called to the scene at 6.30 on West Green Road in Tottenham, but arrived to find no one with injuries. Hospital records confirmed a 24-year-old woman had been taken to a nearby hospital around the same time. Officers are keen to speak to anyone who witnessed the incident. A woman who gave birth to a baby weighing only 690 grams at St Thomas's Hospital in March is campaigning for improved facilities in rooms for new mums. Eleanor Knight from Enfield is encouraging people to get behind this year's Evelina Children's Charity Christmas Appeal so that money raised can help mums have a more comfortable experience in hospital. Eleanor wants women to be taken care of as she was. Like, as soon as I went to St Thomas, I thought, yeah, I'm going to be looked after, you know. And, yeah, they looked after me from when I was admitted up until I gave birth. Even even now, like, you know, there are, they are, it's a family there, you know. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the weather. Here's Philippa Drew. ITV London Weekday Weather. Is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Car, charger and energy. Hello there. Well, things are certainly looking a little on the unsettled side over the next few days. Out there at the moment, a mixture of sunny spells and showers. If you do catch a shower, it could be on the heavier side. And even in the best of the sunshine, quite a cool feel to things today. Highs of just 9 or 10 and a fairly brisk breeze, making it feel cooler still. Now, the showers will fade as we head through this evening, but overnight we'll start to draw in thicker cloud from the west. That's ahead of some rain set to come our way. The winds continue to strengthen. That's in turn keeping the temperatures up, so it will be a frost-free night. But tomorrow Tomorrow morning, that rain piles its way eastwards across all parts, slowly brightening up as we head into the afternoon. Bye-bye. ITV London Weekday Weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Time to take a look at what's coming up later at six. We'll hear from Michael Hook, the father of Ayla Caton, who died from a rare form of cancer. Michael is driving to Morocco and back raising money for cancer research. That is all from us for now. We'll be back with that and more at six o'clock. Have a good afternoon. Goodbye.